So I recently did a job for a 3D scanning software where I basically did a bullet time effect from the Matrix but with Captain America and Spider-Man. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make your own 3D Gaussian splat and then 3D track and composite some amazing effects into them, creating your own superhero pose frozen in time. Before you get started, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. So the technology we're utilizing in this tutorial is called Gaussian splatting. It basically takes information from photos of something from every angle, and it can generate a 3D model from those photos. So if I have 20 images of me as Captain America, all from different angles, and I upload it to Polycam, which is the 3D Gaussian splatting software I use, you give it a couple minutes and then it'll spit out something like this. The best part about Gaussian splatting, uh, it's really easy to do. So you can walk around an object and take a million photos of all the different angles. So when you upload it to Polycam, it gives you a really nice high detailed uh, output. You can also do this with taking a video of something. You can walk around an object or a place with your camera just recording and you, you can upload that video to Polycam and it will spit out a 3D Gaussian splat. So in my particular case, I wanted to capture a moment of me in midair. So I couldn't have somebody just slowly walk around me uh, and get all the angles I needed. I needed that to happen in an instant. And so my only solution was to use action cameras, recording at all times, pointed at me at all angles. So I used 20 GoPros all connected to clothing racks, tripods, and C-stands to make sure that I got an angle of me jumping from basically every possible conceivable angle. And by the way, I know this is a rare situation to have 20 GoPros, but you actually don't need this. My friend Karen Chang has a great little tutorial on her Instagram of her actually having all of her friends hold out their iPhone and record on slow-mo. Uh, and she jumped in the air and she did a little action pose. So if you don't have 20 GoPros, just get a group of your friends and whip out their phones. So after I jumped a million times as Spider-Man and Captain America, I synced up all the GoPro footage in Adobe Premiere. And on the moments where I did an, a cool epic superhero pose, I went and exported a freeze frame from every single GoPro. And then I uploaded them to Polycam. You have to wait about like 20 to 30 minutes and then it spits out your final product. And bam, this can actually be your final product if you want it to. You can use your mouse to kind of pan around and get a good feel of how you want your action freeze frame to go. If you wanna go the route my friend Karen Cheng did, you could just literally screen record your Polycam um, asset and move it around how you like. And in an editing software, you can scale it up to get rid of the computer AI. So just this method, you have a cool bullet time effect of you in costume or anything. But since I wanna add webs to my Spider-Man and lightning to my Thor, we have to go a little bit advanced. I need to download this 3D file. And so since 3D Gaussian splatting is a relatively new technology, I had to figure out um, how do I open this file? Uh, on Polycam, you can download your Gaussian Splat and it saves as a PLY file. So it turns out the softwares that you can edit a PLY file in are Blender, Unreal Engine, and Unity. Unreal had a $100 plugin to edit Gaussian Splats, so I didn't go for that. Blender has a free plugin for Gaussian Splats, but I was having so many problems with live playback when I was trying to preview that Blender wasn't an option. And then I finally settled on Unity, which was fantastic. Unity is a game developing software, but it can open your Gaussian Splat super easily with a, with a free plugin, and it had the fastest live playback. So the plugin that you have to install for Unity will be in the description below, but it came with this amazing feature where you can highlight and delete floating artifacts that were in your Gaussian Splat. Because sometimes the uh, software will just digitally add everything it, can, it thinks is real, but it misses sometimes and produces these little artifacts. And so Unity let me just highlight them and delete them. And also because Unity is a 3D game engine, I was able to drop in some 3D models of Spider-Man webs and put them where my Spider-Man's hands were. So Unity ended up being great because I could import 3D models to enhance my Gaussian splat. Oh, and the Spider-Man webs I downloaded were from Turbo Squid. I think they were like $3. So now I'm gonna explain how I recorded my epic bullet time moment. So I actually couldn't figure out how to use Unity's camera, but that's totally fine. All I needed to do was um, watch a, a live playback of the camera. So I put the layer where you can control the camera on a different monitor. And then I put the panel where you preview what your camera is seeing on a 4K external monitor. And I was screen recording that. 
So I'm screen recording the software's playback view of the Unity camera. So basically this is just a glorified version of screen recording polycams um, Gaussian splat. But in this case now I was able to delete some of the artifacts and add in 3D web. And since I didn't know how to use the camera, I just I just actually grabbed the camera with my mouse and I manually was flying through my 3D scene to get my angles. It's kind of a janky way to get my camera movement, but it, it was working and sometimes in filmmaking, if it works, don't think too hard about it. Since this Gaussian splatting technique isn't exclusive to Unity, I'm gonna move on to compositing. And again, all the Unity tutorials and resources linked in the description, I really liked it. So after I've now screen recorded multiple of my Gaussian splats and gotten some cool superhero angles that I really like, I'll bring these screen recordings into After Effects. And you can see on the edges, we have the UI of Unity. So I'm just gonna scale it up and I'm gonna pre-compose this layer. So it's just a solid shot of bullet time and it looks like a camera filmed it. And how I was able to bring lightning into these scenes is I came over to the tracker panel and I 3D tracked the screen recording. I didn't think it would work, but it did like flawlessly. And so for the Thor scenes, I obviously wanted to add lightning. So I went to productioncrate.com because they have amazing visual effects assets and I downloaded a ton of lightning assets. So with my 3D track, I would select my hammer. It had a lot of good points here. What I would do is I would create a new camera and solid to see how the solid tracked to my hammer. And if it tracked really well, I would replace the solid with a piece of lightning. Now for this to fit the vibe of Frozen in Motion, we're gonna right click on this layer, uh, hit time and time stretch, and we're gonna change it to 400. So it's 400% slower. And then you have to come to your layers panel and make sure frame blending is checked there. This will automatically make the slow motion look cool. So when you fly through, your lightning won't look janky. And so once you've 3D tracked in a bunch of strands of lightning and made sure that they're super slow and have frame blending on them, after I 3D tracked in all my lightning, I went in and did a compositing pass of all these different glows, and this was really spicing it up. And now to make the superhero pose as cinematic as possible, I actually masked out every character in these little camera movements that I did. And the trick I was doing here was I was putting an adjustment layer behind my mask and adding the effect camera lens blur. And this way I was able to create depth. And with this little trick, I was able to make it look cinematic by creating some custom depth. As a, as a camera quickly panned towards the subject or away from it, I would keyframe the blur amount high up. So as the scene ends, we're truly focused on our superhero. And I thought these made the action hit a little harder because you would come in and just immediately focus on your main character. And for my Spider-Man scenes, since I already had added the webs, I was thinking of what I could add, so I just 3D tracked in some shock waves under his feet. So every time Spider-Man was jumping, I had a little bit of dust shooting up from under him to emphasize the power in which he jumped. And so this is the true magic with um, creating your Gaussian splats kind of DIY. Leave all of your comments in the section below or hit me up on Instagram. I'm really responsive there, um, and I know this workflow was really janky, but I basically had to invent this effect for the job I was hired for. And now it's time to thank today's incredible sponsor, Squarespace. From online stores and marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. Let's say you want to be an incredible business person like me. Squarespace will set you up for all the success in the world. First of all, you can create custom merch all through them. They will help you with the designs. They handle the shipping and the inventory. So all you got to do is show up with a good idea and they'll help you execute physical products that'll help you connect with your audience. But what if you actually already make stuff and you want to sell stuff? Squarespace has you covered. They've got retail online stores that you can build. So if you sell jewelry, maybe furniture, you can list this stuff on Squarespace and you have an amazing retail website. Okay, but what about my content creators and influencers out there? Maybe you don't have like furniture that you're building that you wanna sell. In member areas on Squarespace, you can upload exclusive bonus content that you're not posting anywhere else. You can drive traffic to your website and make profit by monetizing memberships to exclusive content they could only see on your Squarespace website. So become a business person with Squarespace. Create custom merch, sell retail items, or make money through monthly subscriptions to your bonus content. It's incredible. The options are endless. Mwah. Best part is I got you hooked up with a discount code. So if you go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack, you'll get 10% off your first website or domain. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Squarespace. I hope everyone learned something today. And where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day.